Hello everyone, welcome to another circuit tutorial video. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make a donation leaderboard with currencies. So using CV2 currencies, we can make a donation leaderboard to show who has given the most donations in your room. But first, before we start, I just need to let all of you know that this is only available for people that have Rec Room Plus. So you need to have Rec Room Plus to be able to do this circuit. So let's get to work. So what we're going to need first is our currency to make the donations so we can hook it up to the leaderboard. To make a currency, go onto this room, click settings, click currencies, click add currency, give it a name. If you're doing donations, then you should probably make it say donations, make a description, uh, make it say uh, support me. And now we're going to make a daily limit, which has to be in between one and um, that big number. So we're just going to spam the keyboard. So I don't think anyone's going to spend uh, 3.5 million tokens in my room. So I guess that's a good amount. And we're going to click add package. We're going to start our donations at 25 tokens. So do 25 for 25 tokens. And then... Let's do 75 for 75 tokens. And we'll do 150. 150 for 150 tokens. And for our fourth and final one, we can do um, 1,000 for 1,000 tokens. And click save. And now we have the currency. So now we're gonna close our watch, pull out our maker pen, make sure circuits are on. Spawn an event receiver by going into circuits v2, going into commonly used. Configure the event receiver and configure to the event player joined. And now go into circuits v2, networking, and then click if local player should run. Spawn it in. Get the wire tool, hook up this output execution for the player joined to this input execution on the local player should run chip. Then do the player value on the acting player for the local player to the player value on the event receiver. And now go back into your palette, go on circuits v2, economy, and then go on get currency balance. Spawn it in, configure the chip, and select the currency of donations. Wire the should run output execution to the run input execution on the get currency balance chip, and make the player value, hook it up to the player value on the event receiver. So what it's doing so far, it is getting the currency of the player that joined, and it's, this is turning it into a local execution, so it only runs on the player that joins their machine. If it runs on only the local player's machine, it will save CPU heat and network heat throughout the entire room. So you could make more cool stuff with circuits, which is pretty cool. All right, so now go into your maker pen, go on circuits v2, go into player, leaderboard then click le leaderboard set local player stat so let's spawn that in hook up the on get balance complete to the input execution on the chip and the total balance and hook it up to the value of the leaderboard chip and then spawn in a leaderboard projector by going into props dynamic and scrolling down until you find the leaderboard projector spawn it in and there's our stat one. But first, this looks a little bit big, so we're just gonna scale it down a little bit. So now it's a lot more comfortable to view. And we're gonna configure this leaderboard. We're gonna change the full name of stat one because that is our currency donation stat. We're gonna set it to top donators. And set the short name, which is gonna be the name on this that little button and that little box right there. We're gonna set it to uh, donations and if you want to you can just hide stat 2 and stat 3 so now you have a donations leaderboard and for the final part to make sure the players can buy your currency they need to they need to find where the currency is you can either use a storefront board and configure it to add the currencies onto there with the carousel or you can use the currency store button and configure it so it uses the currency of donations. So if you click the button, buy some donations. All right, 
so I have 250 donations now. So this circuit only does it so it will refresh your leaderboard stat when you rejoin the room. But if you want it to instantly refresh, then you can get a refresh button by going into gadgets, CV2 gadgets, and spawning in a button V2, and clone your get currency balance and then clone the leaderboard set local player stat. Wire the total balance to the value on leaderboard stat, then hook up the get balance to the input on leaderboard chip. Hook up the run to the pressed and the player to the player on the get currency chip. So now if we watch the wires, it just set my stat. But the leaderboards on Rec Room are not very resilient at updating very often so a good way to update them pretty quickly is by just clicking on the middle button to filter it through friends now it says 250 all right so that's our quick and easy circuit on how to make a donation leaderboard i can't wait to see what you're going to make with this circuit i would love to see it send it to me on instagram at codeconsole.vr or join my discord and send it to me that way but i would love to see whatever you make with the donation leaderboard so that's the end of our video I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found this helpful, if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!